Okay, we got a couple of more uh, Super Chat questions. Is there anything to be concerned about today's popularity of post-apocalyptic films and TV shows? No, I don't think so. I, I mean, ultimately, post-apocalyptic films have been popular forever. I mean, I, I remember there were so many post-apocalyptic uh, movies and, and movies primarily in, in the 70s and 80s and 90s. So I don't think there's anything new. Uh, so I, I don't think it's a new phenomena. I, I, particularly, I'd say things are much better today. Most of, uh, there was a lot of post-apocalyptic feelings or, or ideas that, that emanated from the, from the Cold War, the idea that we were going to, Soviet Union and the United States were going to blow each other up and there was going to be a, that was going to be the source of the apocalypse. I think the difference is that now a lot of the source of the apocalypse is environmentalism, is climate change, is all that nonsense. Uh, and, it, and it makes sense that there would be a lot of movies about that because that is in the culture. It's, it's in the world. Um, should we be concerned about the fact that people are obsessing about all these things that they believe falsely are going to destroy the world? Yeah, but, but the problem is climate change or the, uh, uh, the hysteria about climate change. The problem is the hysteria about environmental issues. The problem is the hysteria, I think, about now the potential war between China and America. I think these these hysterias, or even the hysteria about Islam, that Islam is going to end the world. I think there's a lot of hysteria about the world ending. Uh, as I've said over and over and over again, Western civilization is in decline, but Western civilization is in decline not because of China, not because of Islam. Western civilization is in decline because of the West, because we've abandoned the ideas of the West. You know, we've abandoned individualism, we've abandoned reason, we're embracing collectivism, we're embracing mysticism, and as we embrace those ideas, we will decline. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think, meaning any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the role of the collectivist brutes.